y'all. That's what I mean. I am so hyped. What are we about to go do? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Aspen's Journey. As you can tell by the title or probably by the thumbnail, then you already know what this video is going to be about. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Yes, guys, y'all read that title correctly. Here is today's comment of the day. Don't forget to leave a comment for a chance to be featured in my next video. I never thought I would be saying these words, y'all. I no longer have the mall ATM machine. So if y'all are interested in finding out why I decided to terminate my lease, then stay tuned. Firstly, I vlogged on the day that I did it. It was a couple days ago on Sunday morning. Wasn't even planning on vlogging. I was just planning on doing a sit down video and then something crazy happened on the drive there. Levels on which like he had to align every single thing for what happened to take place was just mind boggling. You know, it's no way that it's a coincidence. If y'all are not believers, I'm gonna keep y'all in my prayers that y'all find God and make it a point to try to develop a relationship with God. You will live a purposeful, fulfilled life. It's so worth it. Your life is gonna be 10 times better. The reason that I removed it, y'all, was God literally told me to move it. He told me to move it and I'm just being obedient. I don't know how to explain it to a non-believer. Like the last six weeks, a lot of the sermons he has been giving me has been about obedience and also understanding that God is the source. My ATM business is not the source. My other streams of income are not the source. God is the source and he will move that source around and switch the source up however he pleases. But you have to allow him and you have to be obedient. And when you're obedient, God will bless you. Something else is going to come my way bigger and better. It's a reason that he wanted me to do this. Let's go ahead and jump into that portion of the video, y'all. I was looking busted and disgusted, okay? It was literally early Sunday morning, no makeup on, looking a mess, so don't judge me, y'all. I just wanted to capture this moment. I don't even know if anyone will ever see this video. I look an absolute mess. It's 9.30 in the morning. I'm going to pick up the mall ATM. I get out the car to go get the dolly. I got the dolly in the back seat. And when I get back in the car, scrambling, my phone touches Instagram. Like it opens up the Instagram app, y'all. And what begins playing, I cannot make this up. Bishop T.D. Jakes talking about the very thing that I am doing this morning, y'all. I didn't even mean to open up the app, y'all. I did not mean to open the app. It was an accident. It's talking about letting go. Basically, that God is the source, okay? It's not a person, it's not a place or a thing that God blessed me with that I cannot let go because guess what? God is the source. And I will not become attached to the blessing over the blesser. Y'all, that's what I mean, y'all. That's what I mean. Y'all gotta excuse me, I am so hyped. You cannot make this up, y'all. I need y'all to think about every little thing in particular that had to take place for that to happen. Of the freaking 60, 70 apps on my phone for me to open Instagram and of the 300 plus people that I follow for it to land on Bishop T.D. Jake, and then of all the posts that Bishop posts for it to be pertaining to this very moment. Do y'all know what had to happen to align that, y'all? That is just not human nature. That is nothing but the power of God. And I already knew it, y'all, but he was just sending me that message to just to just confirm it, to reiterate it. You are doing the right thing. You are being obedient. Let it go. That ATM is not the source. I am the source, okay? My God. I'm going to pick my brother up right now. I'm pulling up so that um, he can help me move the ATM. But that's amazing. I don't even know if y'all gonna see this, y'all. I'm terminating the mall's lease. It's a really long story, but I am happy, y'all. This is it literally supplies me with almost a thousand dollars a month passively from one location and guess what i will never fall in love with the blessing over the blesser never ever 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 so i'm being obedient y'all god ain't got to tell me twice i will be obedient in jesus name okay you hear me and there's my brother right there let me show y'all him just so y'all know i'm not flexing and hey, what are we about to go do what are we about to go do 
bread. No, we about to go move the ATM machine. In the office, in the desk, all the way on the left, the, you know the desk drawer? Yeah. On the left side. I cannot make this shit up, like this is crazy. I'm gonna let my brother hear the sermon so he can get his life back right. Y'all, that was the one that I was saying. He just did um 14 years in prison. Don't he look so young? He left, uh, he was a baby. He was a baby, 17, literally a week after his 18th birthday. I was 15, he was 18, and he did 14 years in prison and came home in uh, this year, in April. So imagine doing that long and then coming back out to, you found it? <laughs> to the real world, you know? That's crazy. I'm gonna let you hear this sermon, bro. If I, um, it's not even a sermon, it's a click on Instagram, right? Oh, and I'm a screen recording y'all so y'all can see. Let me go screen record it real quick. Okay. When you hear from God, it gives you peace. Yes. It settles you about the situation. Yes. I'm not wrestling. Yes. I'm not struggling. I don't have no regrets. I don't have no worries. I only wanted to do it as long as he wanted me to do it. If he's finished with me doing it, I'm cool. Yes. I never fall in love with what he gave me over who gave it to me. I don't have a car I can't let go of. I don't have a house I can't let go of. I don't have a friend I can't let go of. I can let go of any of it and still make it because I made it before I got it and I can make it when it's gone. Do y'all see what I mean, y'all? That was exactly what I was going through in that moment, guys. And be obedient, even when it doesn't feel good. Do y'all think I wanted to let go of a thousand dollar a month of passive income? I mean, seriously, guys, that's how you know how grounded I am in my journey and my walk with God. Nothing else is more important than him. I will let any and everything go for him if he tells me to. No questions asked because I know it's for my good. God will never, ever, ever do anything to harm us, ever. It's always to better us in some way, to better our relationship with him, to better our circumstances, to grow us spiritually, to grow our trust and our faith and all of these things, you know. And even when the enemy comes and tries to use things against you, God will use those very things to even bless you with that, you know. All of the people under the sound of my voice, I really pray that y'all will make y'all way to God. Welcome him into your heart. Welcome him into your life. If you don't know how to pray, literally just say those words. God, I welcome you into my life. I welcome you into my heart. Show me, guide me, lead me. If you are real, let me know. But you have to be sincere, guys. You have to mean it, you know? You can't be like, oh, I said it, nothing happened. You have to have that conviction and mean it. The Bible says, if you seek God, you will find him. But the Bible also says, seek him with your whole heart. Seek him diligently. And to the lukewarm people out there, your girl was once lukewarm. Lukewarm meaning people who are believers who have a relationship with God, but maybe you backslid, maybe he's not number one, maybe you don't pray as often. You guys are seeing this video for a reason. Who's seeing this video is who God wanted to see it. If you feel that conviction in your spirit, that's God. Do not ignore it, don't shy away from it. I don't know where I'm gonna go from here. I'm just on this journey, I'm on this ride, I'm trusting my God, cause he is amazing. And I know the vision that I had for myself is just like not even close to what God has planned, you know? It is a new beginning, it's a new season, y'all. It was my three year, oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I forgot about that, y'all. It's my three year anniversary this month. September 2019 is when I found God and when my whole life changed. So I also know it's not a coincidence that it happened on the month of my anniversary. Stuff like this always happens around my anniversary month. I placed the ATM machine two years ago on my anniversary month. Just like it always happens around my anniversary. I'm super duper duper excited for the future. Super excited for where I'm going from here. Definitely more bangers, more content. The goal this year was for YouTube to be another source of income, literally about 80% to be monetized and YouTube will 
officially be another stream of income but i'm out of here y'all i love y'all so much all glory be to the most high remember you have got to seek him y'all will stay in my prayers give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you found it helpful leave a comment and let me know what you think you made it this far and you are not subscribed what are you waiting for if you've made it to the end of the video please consider subscribing turn on that post notification so that you never miss my future uploads and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys